Family Traveler here. We're back. We are back. Hi, Nathan. Family Traveler Nathan. Even though this is never going to come out. What? Why not? You never know. <laughs> you never know. You never, never know. know. Is this like the plan of our trip? Well, we're going to talk about the trip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So first things first. It's been a year and a half since we've done any kind of traveling whatsoever. Yes. Other than moving our entire life. So we moved halfway yes. across the country. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. So, okay, you goodbye. Guys can talk to okay. Hours. Feel free to come by anytime. Okay. Thanks bye. for joining us. Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been um, like a year and a half since we traveled, which the last place we traveled, tra real travel, was Disneyland Christmas of 2019. And the last time we went to Disney World was spring of 2019. And I was like seven months pregnant, six months, six months pregnant. And uh, so now we are a family of four traveling to Disney World for the first time. And this will be our first travel since the whole pandemic, that pesky little thing. Yep. Um, we are vaccinated. Fully so. vaccinated. Okay. So go us. And, and so our first venture out, we felt safest going to Orlando, the theme parks, because we know that they're taking all the safety precautions. So <clears throat> sort of our first venture out. We'd be lying if we said we weren't nervous about it. Yeah, Some I mean, the kids that, aren't vaccinated. Yeah, there's, so. there's always concerns, but... Um, there's risk. There's always risk, so taking a calculated chance of checking out. So, But I guess the good thing, it's been so long that... The most exciting thing is literally the length of this trip. Like yes. the fact that we are going. In fact, we're we we just did something we've never done before. So, I mean, we we're known to <laughs> decide to like get on a trip and then like this is from the very beginning of us being together. It was didn't take long before we'd, we'd go on a trip and we'd be like, you know, I'd really love another day or two. And we'd oh, like always. call into work and then we'd like get an extra day or two off and then. Find a yeah. hotel, extend our stay. And this is we used to visit Disneyland a lot. Of course, this was back before. I don't know why it was was different, but it was easy to get a hotel room, and yes. like it, did, it just didn't seem like it seemed like it's harder to do that these days. Yeah. And a couple we didn't times, have to worry about flights. Or anything. <clears throat> a couple right. times we might have might have done it in Florida. I don't even remember if we've ever fully extended. Other we than had one bonus days. Other than our flight got canceled. <laughs> bonus so, days are the best. But this time, what we've done, which we've never done before, is we've <laughs> we've already. Extended our trip. We haven't even left yet. <laughs> well, okay. Here's so I was looking just because we're planning on leaving on the weekend and we're driving. So I thought, what hotels are available just for an extra day or two at the at the end of the trip? Because we're driving and he's got all this vacation time since this is like the one year where nobody's used vacation time. We've got all these DVC points and. Not that we're using extra DVC points, but we thought, oh, let's just look. And there were only like four or five hotels even available. And I looked for like, the day I looked, I thought, well, what's available tomorrow? And there were a ton. So I thought, all right, if there's only like three or four available in June, but tomorrow there are a ton, that means it's going to be busy in June. And I thought, well, I'm just going to book it. And well, after we talked about it for maybe five minutes and <laughs> yeah. it was working and I went, all right, this hotel's available. I'm booking it. Because you can cancel it like three yeah, days before. Yeah, okay. So we might... It may not happen. It may but not knowing happen. us, it'll probably happen. <laughs> but, I mean, we we did it. We, we, yeah. we, we, we booked extended. something. We extended a trip before we even left for the trip. That's that's how like excited we are to finally like go somewhere. Oh, so, so yeah. And especially to go to... There, to there's Disney a couple World. things. <clears throat> so we've... We have the, the baby, and he, the last time he traveled anywhere, he was, uh, how old was he, five, four months? Yeah, yeah, five it was months four old. months. Four months old. Yeah. He now was at Disneyland. What, and now 21, he's, 22, 21 months. Yeah, we yeah. have an almost two-year-old who doesn't know how to travel anywhere. He has spent the last year in the four walls of this house, basically. And so we're a little nervous <laughs> about <laughs> taking him a theme park day. We're all... We're all out of sorts for a theme park yeah. day. Um, no, we're out of practice. And summer in Florida. Summer. So yeah. you got the heat, humidity, you know, the park hours are a little bit different than they used to be. There's no fast pass. Like there's just a lot of unknowns. So I think it's like, even though it seems like a super long trip, I mean, we're just concerned. Like, yeah. I, 
you know, how long we will go each day, like how long will the kids be able to last, and well, and you, know, you can't get fast pass. Or fast pass. You can't get fast passes. But what I was going to say is, you can't get annual passes. So right, That's the longest the we can get is a ten day pass, which is fine. Which is what we got. Yes, that's what we got. But we had to, you have to make reservations at each park. So when, by extending two days, we're actually staying past the 14-day mark. And you can only use your 10-day pass within the first 14 days. So we had to juggle some things around and... Um, well, we're also doing something we've never done before. Oh, yeah. We're going to Universal. We're going to Universal. Yes, so two days. Now... Nathan has been asking for the last couple of years to go to Universal. Ever since he started watching the Harry Potter movies, reading Harry Potter books, he's really wanted to go. And so we've always put it off because we feel like it's more of an older, more grown-up kind of park. So let's go with the baby. So, yeah, let's go with the baby. Well, he's finally at the age, and now we have the baby. But we're like, you know, he won't be able to get on much. We'll have to ride or swap or whatever they and do there. quite frankly, I'll probably be <clears throat> nauseated on every single ride. So. <laughs> well, because there's a lot of motion-based... Yeah. Yes. Ride and systems at, very, very at, at Universal, easily. so yes. yeah, and you tend to be a little yeah sensitive. We don't know. We don't know how. I don't know. Did you feel any different if you remember at Disneyland? Because that was the first time you were able to get on rides since having the baby, and sometimes having a baby well, kind yeah. of changes things. So the Incredicoaster made me <clears throat> nauseous. That's true. So, yeah, but you were okay on Star Tours. You were okay on William Falcon. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't but know I don't know. Rides, but. I've heard of certain people and <laughs> my sister puking on Harry Potter. Oh, so yeah. I get a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's true. So, yeah. but you got to do it. So, yeah, we'll I'm going to try everything once. <clears throat> try to well, get. Not the one that, I don't know, the one that goes directly down. I don't know what oh, that the, the uh, Rip and Rocket yeah, Roller Coaster that. or something no. like that. I always want to call it. I always want to call it Rock and Roller Coaster because no. it's on it's Hollywood Studios, but the Rip and Hollywood Rip and Rocket, whatever. Yeah. No, you don't really think you're going to try that one at all? Not even once? So. Wow. <laughs> maybe okay. I'll make a game time decision. <clears throat> See how maybe yeah. Nathan and I come off and... If oh, if like, you go without me, then I probably... Oh, you have to. Cause we no, we'd be switching. Right, I just swap. like, we'll go first, and then yeah. if we come off and we're like so excited about it, or we come back and go, mm, don't do it. Yes. I don't know. No. <laughs> but you do, you'll do Hulk? Yes. You'll do, if it's open for us, because um, while we're there, bef right after we do Universal is when Velocicoaster actually opens yes, up. Yes, I want to try it. On the 10th yeah. or something like that. So, um, but... Well, and I want to do Volcano Bay, opening. too. I want to go to Volcano Bay. Cause Volcano Bay. Like so we've got a ticket that covers all three parks the whole time we're there. So yeah. um, we might hit up Volcano Bay. So we'll, we'll try that. Yeah, well, now we have an extra day two days and we can't use the go to the theme park right we can't go to disney world so it's like resort day we'll go to the Volcano bay, Volcano bay springs i don't know we come combination yeah i think we're we've got a plan we've got a plan of like the whole two weeks like every day because you have to get park reservations now which is just like insane so we had to get park reservations on the one hand you don't need fast pass <clears throat> so it's like oh it's it feels like it's more relaxed because you don't have to worry however we went to book our um, our theme park tickets, and we were shocked we couldn't get Hollywood Studios for the whole second half of our trip. So we did it on day one and day three, and then we were like, "Oh my God, we can't go again!" And what if we don't get Rise of the Resistance? There's all this pressure. We have to get Rise yeah, of the Resistance. Yeah, a lot of pressure on us. So um, we kept looking, kept looking, and finally it opened up, and there were um, a couple days, and. You know, we got right on it and we booked another day, but then the next day we went back and looked and they were gone again. So the stress is like planning out what day you're going to go to which park. Right, yeah. And, and we knowing, can't change it. Yeah, knowing that you don't have a good chance of being able to change it around depending on how the week goes. Right. Which when you have an annual pass, yeah. just go, uh, you just kind of, we usually kept to it probably because dining reservations always sort of kept us to and it. And fast but, passes. And fast passes. So we, we didn't really get, you know, even though we had flexibility, we didn't utilize it that much. But this time it's like... You really can't. Well, also, we have the baby, and we have no idea what that's going to be like. No, not at all. I, He's a little bit of a maniac, but... It's know. weird. I feel like we've never gone with a baby before, and we have, but, but it's, it's just been, been a nine decade. years. <laughs> so remember. I don't even know... And it's a different baby, so, you, you know, Nathan was one way, so I don't know how Max right. is going to be. So. Nathan fell asleep in the stroller, and we were able to keep him until um, the end of the night a lot of times, because he would just sleep, like... If it was after 9 o'clock and we were still going, he would just fall asleep in the stroller for the rest of the night. It was actually this age, about one and a half, was the easiest time we had with Nathan because of that. He was really flexible. Um, 
Don't know if Max is going to yeah, be that way or don't not. Know. Don't know. <laughs> I have if no he's going to find that stroller comfortable and get used to it. I'll um, tell you what, I've been doing practice runs. Not obviously to a theme park, but like just to Target and just taking him out for yeah. walks. And he is in the stroller. <laughs> he screams. Yeah, he just screams. Not like nowhere. mad screaming, just like blah, blah, blah. It just like doesn't stop. He's yeah. really loud. Yeah. So that'll yeah. be interesting. We went to Best Buy today. You were walking with the, the associate. You're yeah. showing you something. Yeah. And I was just walking the stroller and he saw you and he just, get, I don't know if you heard him. He's just like, <laughs> mama, 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 mama. Just like top of his lungs, just yelling. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Like, he's just yelling out for you. So he's just, I don't know. It's not, yeah, it's not like he's just like upset. He just likes to hear his own voice. I yeah. understand it's pretty typical at this age, but it can be pretty, uh, but maybe with all the, um, Sensory. sensory stuff going on at, at the theme parks and there'll yeah. be a lot of things to distract him and maybe it won't he be also as, has you know, a habit. as loud <clears throat> he says hello and hi to, to every. every human being on the planet so he's like hi <laughs> hi hello <laughs> true. he's like so desperate for human interaction because he's so bored with us that he'll talk to absolutely anybody that he sees and it's very cute and very endearing but We'll see how it goes at a theme park. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> so we have uh, we have our countdown. We have our, <clears throat> you see here, we got our, we just took what used to just be like a calendar, but we it just broke. had to use it as, yeah, yeah. we just had to use it as a little countdown. So we're here, we're at 26 days left. So just under four weeks until we leave. Yes. So, and like we said, we're driving. So that's going to be like day one of the drive. Yeah. We're going to drive to the plans to drive and stop in Atlanta. Do overnight in Atlanta, and then the next day get up and do the shorter <clears throat> part of the drive so we can get to Disney World at a reasonable hour to just enjoy the resort. Where are we staying? Where are we staying? Drum roll, <laughs> please. We're DVC <clears throat> members. Okay, so we've got some <clears throat> banked up DVC points yes. because we couldn't use them last year. So We we've had got to cancel some, our trip. <clears throat> we had to cancel year. a trip. We had a trip last July, and we had to cancel that. And so, yeah, where are we staying? We're staying in a one-bedroom at the Riviera. The Riviera. First time, never been there, never seen it. Yeah. <clears throat> so, very excited to check that place out. Heard a lot of good things. Um, never been on the Skyliner, so yeah. that's gonna be new. Never experienced the Skyliner. Seen lots. Of never been on Rise of the Resistance. Crossing. Never been on the Rise of Resistance, so we gave ourselves three opportunities, at least well, days. Six. Six yeah, if you include you get... the one o'clock time, right? Is that right, what you mean? Right, yeah. Right. So two times a day you can try to get a, a, a boarding time. So yeah. we, uh, yeah, we have three days we're going to be doing that. So we're going to use the, we're going to utilize when we're staying at the Riviera, we we'll utilize the, the gondolas or what Skyliner. Is it the Skyliner. Yeah. We we'll utilize the Skyliner. Um, We've never been on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Yep. Runway. Yeah, we've never been on that. Never been on that, so that's so a new it's ride. Three new things to go on. Mm -hmm. We've never stayed at the Riviera, yep. and then we extended our when <clears throat> the extension part of our trip. We're staying at Destino Tower. We've never stayed there. Never stayed there. Yeah, um, or so, been there or anything. Or been there, right? So well, we're staying. So the, so for two nights, we're staying at um, the. I can't remember the name of the hotel we're staying at at, at uh, uh, okay. Universal. It's <laughs> the. Idea. It's the South, something with Pacific. I can't remember the name of it, but Pacific it's Pacific Royal. Pacific Royal or something like that. The, I don't the, one of the Lowe's hotels. We got the one where you get the express pass. That yeah, was like the most important the, thing to us with because, the baby. especially with the baby and crowds, the universe can be crazy and those wait yeah. times. So we decided let's get the express pass. And many people have, have advised it's the way to go. So we went for it. Um, so hopefully it'll be worth the money. Although we probably won't be able to utilize express pass for Hagrid's. Right. So we'll have to make sure we get use our early entry and try to get into Hagrid's. And Velocicoaster. Um, and Velocicoaster probably won't have Express Pass when, the, when well, it starts, Well, let's hope it's soft it. opening. So, yeah, if it's soft it's... opening. I mean, this upcoming week they're doing uh, um, annual pass previews. So if they're doing annual pass previews the first week of May, I would think by yeah. the first week of June they're going to, you know, they usually continuously run it unless yeah. they run into technical problems. But if not, they'll probably run it. And by then... They'll probably be allowing regular guests to get in, so I think well, I I think we have a good chance. I think Nathan's excited about it, so yeah. We'll and then see. after that, we're staying at Polynesian, our Back very Polynesian. favorite resort. Yeah. Now they're doing yeah. some construction, so only DVC is open. And but the pool areas, I think, pool are areas all are both all open. Um, the monorail doesn't. You can't Stop. pick up the monorail. Yeah, there. but you can walk to the TTC. It's like ten minutes. Yeah, and take the monorail or take the boat. I'm bummed that the monorail to Epcot is not operating, so we won't be able to take the walk to the TTC and take the monorail over to Epcot. Sure. But um, 
Oh, and well, then Ohana's right. not open. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Good so there'll be, but it'll be quiet there because only DVC. It should be quiet. It's available. So it'll be nice. So yeah. Dole Whip's right there at the hotel. Yeah. So, and now they got that whole path open. You could even, not that we'd do this probably from Polly, but oh, you could God. walk all the way to the Magic Kingdom. No, that's a lot of walking. <laughs> that's a lot of walking. You do <laughs> We'd be exhausted by the time we get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So, not yeah. sure we'll do that, but yeah, those are all the places we're staying, so. And we have reservations at Haleo, which yeah, we've never so been Yeah, so yeah, first night. First night is Haleo when we get in, the day we get in. Yeah. We're going to go to the... We're going to check out the resort. We, we originally wanted to get uh, Topolino for dinner. First night, Topolino. Um, and I, I I, think it's 60 days, was it? 60 yeah, days right you can make dining reservations. Mark. And I got up early, 60 days to try to make reservations for dining. And that first night, Topolino was already was already booked up. Yeah. So we have it later in the week. Um, but we said, where are we going to go? What do we want to eat? We said, let's go to, you know, we go to Disney Springs. There's a good chance to go up we, to go there. So. We used to have a <clears throat> um, tradition when we would first, whenever we would fly to Florida, uh, our first night was always get to the resort, go to Disney Springs, go to Goofy's Candy Company and have dinner and then go to Goofy's. That was always our tradition. And that, usually we'd eat at Earl's. Yeah, um, that's right. Lately... <clears throat> I don't know. We haven't done know. that. I can't I, remember last no, time we did we that. No, we haven't. I think our, I don't know. I think some of our traditions are like changing. Yeah. I don't even know if would you say we have like a solid tradition of arriving. I guess in general, but I was just even thinking of arriving. I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. Uh, no. We have one tradition, which is that we have to go to um, Beaches <clears throat> and Cream and get a No Way Jose. I don't think there's been. That's a, true. Well, there's not been a trip where we haven't. And we have it. We have it set for oh, this yeah. trip. Oh, yeah. We have yeah. two reservations. Two reservations, <laughs> just in case. Not saying we're going to go to both. We'll yeah. see how things go. But Haleo for dinner the very first night. We've never eaten there before. So we're looking forward to just yeah. trying a new restaurant that's in um, down in Disney Springs. And then our yeah, first so. day our first day at the Hollywood Studios, the very next morning, we're going to be up bright and early trying to get that boarding pass for Rise of Resistance. So yes. we've been practicing. Um, <laughs> A couple times we've gotten up early. Uh, we're in the central time zone, so it's we're 7 a.m. It's 6 a.m. We're not setting our alarm. We have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> he happens to wake up before yeah. 6 a.m., then we Yeah, if we he's up it. and we notice, like, hey, let's get on and let's try to get it. And I, it, it's hard to tell whether we're doing it right because you can only go so far yeah. because we don't have uh, uh, reservations for the park. Right. So, like, we're hitting it and it feels like we're missing out. But, I don't know, we're just getting used to what you have to do so we're not... Yeah. confused when we have to do it for real so that very first morning stress we're gonna be we're gonna be trying to get that and if it doesn't work out we'll we'll be thinking about one o'clock and then we're having lunch at sci-fi i would say the last two trips we've been to disney world we've wanted to go to sci-fi and could not get a reservation yeah we tried and tried so, and, and the last few times we thought oh that place isn't that good anyway and then we we're like hearing about how it's gotten better and then it's so cute in there and so i do we, love the atmosphere the atmosphere is great it's what it's all and about and i think nathan will love so, it so so uh oh, uh -oh. burger. Okay. So burger, <laughs> burger. I mean burger to milkshake. I mean something yeah. like that. You know, we're gonna just yeah. keep it simple. I think you know, I think yeah. you'd be okay. So yeah, definitely sci-fi lunch, right. Magic Kingdom on oh, Sunday. Yeah. So right off to Magic Kingdom with lunch at Be Our Guest. Another one that we really have a hard time getting reservations yes. for. Yes. Um, it's yeah. So we're excited about that. Getting back to Be Our Guest. So this is we, when I got up to sixty days. These are the ones I was able to grab. Yeah, and we always end up in that side room, and we really want to either be in the main atrium room, which is so beautiful. Yeah, like the ballroom, ballroom or, or the west wing. Or the west wing. Yeah. We've never been in either of those rooms. Walk uh, through them. but Yeah. And every know. time you walk through them, you go, well, this would be cool to eat in here. Yeah, and we always get that side room that yeah. feels unthemed. Well, and we were told last time we were there by one of the wait staff that uh, it was actually... That restaurant was so popular, they quickly expanded, and yeah, they actually so. opened up. I think that space used to be like kitchen space or something, because she said yeah. they had to move the kitchen right, space, right, and they right. have to come like a really long way for the food or whatever, but they wanted to get more capacity for people, so they expanded it. So you can kind of, I mean, there's some theming in there, and it's, it's okay, but right. it's just, you can kind of tell. It doesn't make it sense. It feels like an extension, and right. sure enough, it was an extension. Yeah. So those first two rooms are really what they themed right out of the gate. So, and we've, I think we've, we've eaten there Twice? Tw no, three, three times. times. And all three and times. And all three times we've been <laughs> in that room. room. So it's like, I, I don't know, I'm going to have to, we're going to have to actually ask and just yeah. beg them, like, we'll wait Please. a little longer yeah. for a table that opens up in that room. So hopefully they'll be nice and let us do that. We'll see. And then Monday, back to the studios. So again, this is like our next chance to try to get Rise if we didn't yeah. get it that first day. And we're also doing Hollywood and Vine breakfast, so a character well, breakfast. Yeah, because the only way to see characters, because like you can't meet them or anything, like, we thought, let's do character mail. Yeah, they're not going to come up to you, but it'll be a, feel like a more intimate yeah. interaction. And 
we so we've introduced like Mickey and Minnie and Goofy and Donald to to the baby and he can say their names like and it's so cute so we really want to go to some events where some he can characters see where them. he can see yeah. them because whenever he sees them on TV he goes hi Mickey yeah and right waves like, and I think yeah so cute. So, it'll be nice yeah so Hollywood and Vine and we took Nathan at this age to the Hollywood and Vine breakfast yeah and he loved so, it he loved it so yeah. I think it'll be good and then Tuesday the first of June we're going to uh, Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's the day we have Topolino for dinner. So we have right. so we'll go to Animal Kingdom. We'll cut out a little bit before you know a little early. Go back and uh, we'll we'll have dinner at Topolino. And then <laughs> okay. it just worked out this way because I wanted to because Topolino also has a character breakfast. So we really want to try their character breakfast while we're staying right there at the hotel and everything we've heard and seen. It looks like a really great character breakfast. So we got for the next day, the next Very morning. Next so we're going to have dinner and breakfast back to back at Topolino. This, this is kind of how it worked out. cruises where we have Paolo for dinner and the very next day we have that's, Paolo brunch. That's when it works so out for brunch, yeah. We always, it has happened a couple times. Has. That does seem to be the way it works out. <laughs> it's like our thing. But you yeah. just got to get it when you, get it, when you yeah. get it. So, And then that's the, the first day that we have beaches and cream at 510. We have it, we we're have it at 510. Park, right? We're mm -hmm. not going to park that day. That's like a resort day. Enjoy the Riviera. Maybe take the um, Skyliner over to uh, the Epcot World Showcase area and go over to uh, Beaches and Cream yeah. and maybe depending on how we feel maybe we won't even eat dinner there maybe we'll eat dinner somewhere else and we'll just get, just, just get ice cream at Beaches and Cream so yeah. um, and then Thursday is Epcot and the second day we have Beaches and Cream at 7.30 like Thursday is so. the first day we've been there almost a week <laughs> first time we go to Epcot Thursday happens every trip <laughs> By the time you get to all four <laughs> parks, you've, you've right. actually been there a week. Yeah. And this time, especially because we're doing studios twice in that same right. first few days, so there's two at the same yeah. park. But and we're taking a day. And we're taking a day, so day. that's just kind of how it works out. Yeah, well, well I've we already have to had spread a resort the 10 days day. Out. Yeah, we have to. We have to. And that's the last day before. And then Friday, we the fourth, we go to Universal. Right. So we check into the Universal, the fourth. Not sure how we're going to work that because we only have a couple days, and because we're resort guests, we can get in early. And we can get, you know, so I don't know, but we have to get over there and luggage and checking in and getting our passes um, validated or activated yeah. or whatever we have to do. So I don't know how that's going to work out. So that's that's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And, Sunday. and we're I have reservations at um, what's oh, the name of that? Mythos. 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 Everyone yeah. says it's supposed to be a great theme park restaurant, so. I made a reservation for lunch. I want butter beer. That's what I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, we're going to go for all the different. Yeah, we'll try the different butter beers. Every butter beer there is. There's you can do the ice it. cream? Yeah, I'm going to do yeah. it all. Like the soft serve? Yeah, yeah why not? Serve. I want to try it all. Okay. You can do hot? Yes. Well, like 90 degrees. You're going to do a hot beer? Maybe in the morning. Like a well, actually, if you think about it, the, they say the morning is when you really want to get like kind of the Harry Potter area of the way because it gets yeah. really crowded throughout the day. Right. So in the afternoon, you probably don't want to be there. So I'll. Treat Maybe. it like a morning coffee. Treat it like a morning coffee. Just a get a morning, morning butter sugar, beer. <laughs> butter beer. <laughs> well, we've never had it, so no, I don't know. No, but no, I yeah. imagine it's a very sweet. <laughs> yeah. What I heard is very sweet. So, yeah. And then Sunday is the last day. It was when we go over to the Poly. So it's the last day over at Universal. So maybe we'll finish up Islands of Adventure, Universal, or Volcano Bay. Maybe we'll do it that day. We. That's the part where we're kind of unsure how it's going to play out. Yeah. And then head over to the Poly at some point. It really point just matters day. how much we get done at Universal or how like if I'm really just over it because I keep getting nauseous or whatever and we're just like you know what let's do water park I don't know yeah who knows yeah who knows Nathan might who beg knows? to go back to Universal and we'll yeah. go to Universal or he'll be uh, like sick of it and want to go to the water yeah. park I, I, don't I don't know I don't know playing a fight I guess the problem is if we have a split oh yeah <laughs> then we gotta decide who's doing what because well, you really but, can't go by yourself with a baby to the water park. There's really no, there. no, really. That's, <laughs> that's hard to do. Little, uh, no, that's hard to do. And then you know, I wonder if if at the at the um, Royal Pacific, whatever I'm hotel. Saying, I'm, I'm saying it right. The Royal. Pacific, <laughs> I don't even know. Like maybe we want to even spend a little time at that pool. Yeah, I don't maybe. even know. Like right. what day and when we do it. I, I we'll see how the days go. Maybe the express pass. Maybe with the express pass. Other than like, repeat rides, maybe we'll get most of the rides we want to get done. And, and by, then, and by uh, afternoon when it's kind of like um, busy and hot, maybe we'll be like good to go back and then maybe come back for the last couple hours just to get a couple things in that we yeah. liked and just enjoy the evening before it gets dark. They even have a nighttime show. It looks like a kind of a... Yeah, on the, a Harry Potter, right? On the castle? Well, there's that, but there's also one on a lagoon. The, la the oh, lagoon, it's like a, it's like a world of color knockoff with fountains and, oh, and, and, uh, and, uh, 
fountains with the screens yeah. with the mist screens and they Tell show we haven't done as much research yeah no not as much universe like we're we're newbies <laughs> we are yeah anyone, and it shows. That, anyone that knows universal is that <laughs> you sound stupid right now but that's yeah so who knows what of that we're gonna do not do it's gonna be interesting because it's yeah. gonna be like and then like, we know what to expect when we go into disney right and well we, feel, well, we I know. know but not during like <laughs> pandemic yeah well we also never know how we're gonna feel like, right a mask think, on our face all day yeah you plan like, you think a certain hot way and, gross. and then when it comes to like the moment you're there sometimes you just sort of change like what you're thinking yeah well who knows what the baby's gonna be like and you know nathan might be so hot and uncomfortable with a mask on and yeah, you know, we might just there's say, a lot of unknowns. Let's just go to the resort. So there's a lot of unknowns. Yeah. Um, and the second half of the trip, really, so what we like to do, we don't take these big, massive, epic trips often, but when we do, we like to do, the first week is like rope drop every day, get in as much as we can while we still have all the energy, and then the second week is more slowing it down. We always take a resort day so we can experience, you know, what, we never stay at the same hotel for our whole trip ever. But the second week is always like, let's hit what we didn't hit yet and take it at a little slower pace. And, and you, this is for those trips where we have, we were there for two weeks. Right, There's right. Not Only a lot the of big trips, trips where we are. No. And, but I, I'm trying to think back, like, not, not that there's been that many trips that big. No. But of those that are, have we done that? Like, have we actually <laughs> it's in done theory. like that? All right. Have we, like, the second week comes and, and there's something about the second week that always seems to really go super fast. It seems shorter. And it feels like the end. Like, the first week yeah. goes by and you still got so much left of the trip and you're just loving it and you get to the middle. Yeah. And then you kind of get to that second week. You think you have a whole other week, but before you know it, those days just sort of go by yeah, and you're that's like, true. like oh my god we've only been to the magic kingdom twice right. and we've only been yeah, pirates, pirates once right. and we've been here like 10 days and we're leaving two and like and we always want more yeah never always. enough never enough. never enough we yeah. never want to we're never like all right i'm ready to go home ever yeah ever. well because you just want to do it all like you want to balance you want to do all the stuff you all the attractions and shows right. and experiences just be in the park you want to do all that yeah. but then you also want to like just enjoy like you're staying at the resort no, you want to no, relax you want to enjoy the food there's no shows okay. there's no fireworks that is going to so help i think it does yeah help there's help. less pressure of like right. let's stay like like epcot we stay till illuminations epcot's open till 11 not that we'd stay till 11 but there's no illumination so maybe that'll even help with the crowds in world showcase at night yeah. i don't know and because of the baby <laughs> we might be like yeah we've been here all day we're tired we can go back yeah. we don't have to wait or we could have a big break and then come back in right. the evening hope yeah. he falls asleep in the stroller and do some things like exactly i there's don't know so I, many unknowns yeah there's a lot of different things so i don't know we'll see when we get back that first monday we have hollywood studios again um Again, that that's our Last. third and final try to try to get Rise if we hadn't got it yet. And we have a Kona breakfast that they only had late in the morning because we're staying at Polly. We wanted breakfast at Kona, yeah, not we'll till 10.55. So I got a second one later in the week. But I, I keep these reservations still get closer again just to see what happens and because it's really hard to get dining reservations right now. Yeah. Tuesday back at the Magic Kingdom. Um, no dining. No dining. Wednesday is we've got uh, Animal, Animal Kingdom, Kingdom right now, but no we may dining. we may make that a resort day at Polly. Yeah. We're not sure. Uh, Since we, we extended our yeah. trip. Since we extended our trip. We might want. We don't have a day, at, like a whole it. day at yeah. the Polly. We figured we would be exhausted by then, so we would probably spend more time at the resort. And but it's always this like, do you want to waste a whole day ticket because we can't get an annual pass? Yeah. There's always this like back and forth, but so we don't know what we're gonna do, but. Right now, Animal Kingdom. And we have a Kona Cafe dinner. We can't remember the last time we've ever eaten dinner there. So oh. we said, well, we're staying at the resort. Let's get a dinner. And you can't get Ohana. So we're like, let's right. get Cat. Let's get Kona. So we have a 620 dinner reservation at Kona Cafe. We'll, so that might again, be a resort we may, we, Yeah, it may. If it is, we might keep that. If we yeah. don't, we may not. Um, Thursday, back to Epcot. We're Garden Grill. Another going to Garden Grill. Another meal. character. There's very few character meals going on right now. So this is one where they still had character, character meals going on. So we're doing Garden Grill for lunch that day. Friday, Magic Kingdom. This is the other day I've got a Kona breakfast at 8.55. We'll see if we keep that. And then that's it. Other than that, Saturday and Sunday, we're extended. Right now, we don't have anything planned for those two days. So we'll see. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll go back. To, maybe we'll go to Volcano Bay. What do you think about Volcano Bay? Yeah. You want to try that out? Yeah. What are you most excited about for this trip? Oh, for Universal mm -hmm. or for Disney? Oh, just In overall, general, the whole overall. thing. Just going to the park. Just going to the Just going to the park. But in Universal in general, I'm excited to go on the Harry Potter rides. Yeah. Yes. Very excited. And what are you yeah. excited about for Florida? I mean, Disney, Disney World. World. I'm going Test Track. Test Track? What oh, about man. Rise of the Resistance? And that. <laughs> if we can get, <laughs> if we can if get, we can get a boarding group, that's mm -hmm. hopeful. Yeah. Let's be hopeful we can get a boarding group. 
So. But we're going on test track no matter what. Yeah. No, we're Absolutely. going on test track. Yeah. It's going to be open, so we're going. <laughs> Thanks for your insight. <laughs> No matter what. Yeah, what about you? Do you have something you're like most looking forward to? Okay, or? well, I'm really excited just to be on a trip. I'm really, really, really excited really for it. Riviera because right. we've never stayed there. And, you know, last year we, we were supposed to go the first month that they opened. Mm -hmm. And we yeah, obviously had to cancel. So I'm like super excited just about a new resort. And so we're staying in a one bedroom DVC. And it, for the whole trip, it's the only time we're staying in a one bedroom. So it'll be the most spacious, yeah, it'll be the nice. newest. That's it'll be out. really nice. <clears throat> Um, so I'm really most excited about that. I'm really nervous, but very excited about Rise of the Resistance. Like I, I really, know. really, really want to get it the first day, the first try. Yeah, I want so to get that out of the way. I agree. Like, I agree with you so much. I want to just we, get it. Right, because if we don't get it, then we're like, oh my god, last chance. Oh my god, last well, chance. Well, then it's like, each time. Then it's like now we're stressing for the one o'clock. Yeah, right? and then yeah. We don't get one o'clock. All right, right. Well, don't then, worry. We're going right. in two days. And, and if it's we like, just get it, it's bonus. If we get right. it again, it's exactly, just bonus. exactly. I'd rather have bonus opportunities than have like that last day we haven't gotten it and we're like. Panicking because we haven't even seen anything. We've watched no spoilers. No, we've really, really been good about yeah. trying to avoid seeing anything about that. Mickey's Runaway Railway. Right. We haven't seen anything on that. Yeah. Like oh, well, we... we'll definitely ride that though. There's no. But, yeah, no, that's gonna be easy. Right. But I, I just, uh, yeah, I wish they had standby, like just or something, so that you can be sure to ride it. So, I would say, yeah, that's for me. I'm probably most excited to get on Rise of Resistance, but the problem is, is I'm so nervous about it. Right. Kind I feel of, the same as I do. <laughs> so I'm actually most excited about that. I think I'm with you on like just being excited to go back on a trip and go to the parks. But I know me, like I'm just, I'm all these things. I want to do all these things to make sure we get it all done and check the list. It's gonna go and I, well, I just, I'm, what I'm, what I want to make sure is I keep reminding myself of what you're most excited about, which is just, hey, I have to keep reminding myself, chill out, we're on a trip. We're, we're finally here. We're together. We're doing things. Like when it gets like crazy or stressful or whatever, just being able to like take a step back and yeah, just like relax with it. And I hope I can do that because I know I'm like go, go, go when it comes to like Well, the we're always telling like ourselves. That. Yeah. We come back every year. Yeah. Like it's not like we're never going to come back. So we can take it slow. Now we, have, we say that, but we have a problem taking it slow. So because... Yeah. I think the last time we went when I was pregnant, I couldn't ride half the rides. Yeah, there really seems to be something. But I was, but we were still rope dropping it every single day. We were there for spring break. We were there for a week. Yeah, when it's really crowded, you got to do you that. Have to, and yeah. you know what? We got a lot done because we of did. It. Yeah, we did. And we it were was like, worth oh, it. I'm like, I was shocked that I was able to wake up and go at, you know, six months pregnant. I yeah. was hot. I was tired. Yeah. Um, but then we took those breaks in the yeah. afternoon. We yeah. felt okay doing it because we had gotten so much done. But we weren't morning. relaxing. Like we were... Yeah, because even those breaks is like, let's say you take a three or four hour break. You think that's a good break in the afternoon, right? Those three or four hours oh. go by so fast. Because it takes you like 40 minutes yeah, to get back got, to the Yeah, there's top. transportation. Right. Now mm -hmm. we have a baby, so let's say we try to get him right. to nap and then he's not napping and we're in the room and we're trying to or be quiet or, or, or who knows, anything. It just, right. it goes by super fast. Everything so goes by fast on a Disney show. But honestly, with a child this age... And even Nathan, I don't know. Do you feel like is can you really relax? Is there like a, <laughs> is there a time where you could just like sit back? It's not like we could just like, no, we're just us and we just like, like we just sit on sit in a chaise lounge and fair and relaxing order has, some drinks and relaxing has like a different meaning. So yeah. like it's graded on a curve. Yeah, all right. Like relaxing on a max curve is being in a room. <laughs> the max curve, the I max think curve. we're Like you have to chase him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, but you're at least not out in a hot theme park where he's whining or oh, crying or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. it's not exactly relaxing, right. but at least you're not uncomfortable. Right. Yeah. 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 So. Oh. <laughs> Stay tuned. There's so much, I mean, this is, we're just yes. excited. There's going to be so much, uh, to see and do. Like, it's just yeah. going to be, it's, and it's I'm not going to take a year to get out all the content. <laughs> no, did. So Disneyland, we went and we didn't know it was going to be our last trip. And then the pandemic happened and we moved. And I just, even though we we're like home for a year because we were home with the baby, we didn't have a ton of free time to just sit and make the videos. No, you're so right. It was hard. It was, it was hard. hard. So I just got the last video out yesterday. And, uh, did you mention we moved? Yeah, so we in moved. In the middle of a pandemic. Middle of pandemic we moved. Actually, we moved twice because we didn't have yes, a house. So we right. sold, we moved, we, we had an apartment, apartment, and then we got a house and like sort of moved again. Right. The first uh, time we moved, tried to get settled down. And, masks weren't yeah. like a known entity yet. And then by the time we moved, moved, it was like we, you know, like there was, nobody was wearing masks in the house when they were moving us. It was all yeah. like everything changed so fast. It's like you don't think about how fast things change until you look back. And realize how different things were. I mean, literally, we moved in April, 
and in April, no masks. By the time nope. we moved into the house in August, it was like full masks, full masks everybody, for yeah. everybody yeah. when they were moving us. We were yeah. everyone. So it was yeah. just like everything was so different. I don't know why masks is like the line for me of how I draw, like how things changed over the pandemic. But everyone has this point that yeah, to just, or it just seems cover, so. really different. Yeah, yeah. So it, like, oh, and we drove. Yeah. So we drove across the country, and we were afraid to use the bathroom. <laughs> we wanted to drive in one day because we were afraid of going to a hotel. Yeah. You know, we didn't know how like how the virus transmitted. So right, we, we it wasn't were, so we clear. We were afraid so about surfaces and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, we were cleaning to... our groceries for a bit there yeah, when we first right. got yeah. here. And so everything is just like, it's been a year. Yeah, it's, it's been, been a year. year. It's been a year. So even trying to get content together now, it was just yeah. like impossible. But feels better now. We're excited. We're excited, yeah, to, really excited to get back out there and be the travelers that we are. And yes. You know, we want to go all kinds of places. It went back to other places, um, but you know, this yeah. is for us being huge Disney fans and going to the parks a lot and all the time. It seems like the most sen uh, sensible, sensible, or most uh, makes the most sense. Makes, okay, that makes it sensible. <laughs> yeah, it would um, for place us. for us to go yeah. to like get out there again. Right. So. Um, it's at least the most predictable. It's definitely the most predictable. <laughs> like, yeah, anyone that's heard that that's what we're doing is pretty much like, yeah, okay. I can yeah. see them going and do that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's what we're going to do. So yeah. we're excited. So All right, well, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned to see what happens. And, uh, 26 days. 26 days. Can't right. wait. Can't wait. Yeah.